I'm Lady Charmaine, and my guest today produced the groundbreaking documentary, Free Angela and All Political Leaders. Her film premiered at the Toronto Film Festival with much excitement, and she's here today to talk about her new film opening April 5th. Help me welcome producer Sidra Smith to the show. Hey, Sidra, how you doing? Hi, I am so fabulous and excited. Yeah, you and Tasha, boy, I'm telling you, that twins, audience, in case you did not know, actress Tasha Smith has an identical twin sister. Her name is Sidra Smith. She's on the show today. Now, Sidra, I got to ask you, when you're walking down the street, do you get people saying to you, has anybody ever told you you look like actress Tasha Smith? Can I just tell you, it happens every single day. I mean, I live in Harlem, and I'm outside. I mean, I take the train. I walk everywhere. Every day, people come up to me, and they say, oh, my God, you cut your hair. You look just <laughs> like that girl. And I'm like, yeah, that's my sister. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, that's you. And it's just so hilarious. I started taking photographs of everyone who think I'm my sister, and I'll send them to Tasha. It's so funny. Cause, I mean, and sometimes... And sometimes if they really don't believe me, I give them Tasha's cell number. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. When Tasha was coming on the show a couple years ago, I had no idea she had an identical twin sister. My mouth dropped because it's not like I hear her talk about it a lot. Had no idea. First, I thought Tasha cut her hair because I saw a picture of you. Now, do you keep your hair short just so you can look a little different from your sister or that's just your preference? Girl, that's just me, Mama. I would never try to look different from that hot, beautiful, sexy <laughs> black woman. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, you know, I, I literally shaved my head about 11 years ago, and I really did it because I wanted to kind of, like, reintroduce myself to myself, mm. and I just wanted to see what I look like without hair, you know? And I loved it, and actually, balls have more fun. If I had known what I knew when I shaved my head, I would have shaved it about 20 years ago. <laughs> I know, that's right. But see, thank God you got a pretty face, because not everybody can carry that off. So thank God you're cute. So praise the oh, Lord. <laughs> thank you. But I want to... I want to talk about your brand new documentary that's going to be in AMC theaters exclusively, Free Angela and All Political Prisoners. Now, we this is a story of the Angela, Angela Davis story. Why were you inspired to do a documentary on her life? Well, let me tell you, Free Angela and All Political Prisoners is, you know, for one, it's, it's, it's a blessing for me to be a part of this project. And it was actually inspired by the director, Shala Lynch. Shala Lynch is a woman I met about maybe 10 years ago here in Harlem, and I learned about her work through a documentary she did on Shirley Chisholm. So after Shirley Chisholm's documentary came out, I said to Shala, you know, what's your next project? Like, you're so talented. I want to know about, you know, more things that you're doing. And she said that she was working on a documentary on Angela Davis. And I said, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. If you need any help, please let me know. And I followed this girl's, you know, process for seven years working on this documentary. And then finally, once the first cut was done, she came to my house with her Mac computer, <laughs> carried it up the steps. We watched the first cut. No one had seen it. And she's like, okay, what do we do next? And it just all happened from there, you know? I mean, but the, the documentary is really amazing. A lot of people think they know Angela Davis's story, but to really see this you will learn so many things you did not know about her now I can tell you now I haven't seen free Angela and all political leaders but I did see her documentary it's on Shirley free Chisholm Angela and all political prisoners yeah prisoners now I did not see that one yet because I know that comes out on the fifth but I did see the documentary she did on Shirley Chisholm because my daughter played Shirley Chisholm a couple years ago so we had wow. to so we had to watch the documentary that documentary was excellent I learned so much about Shirley Chisholm that I didn't even know so I had no idea she did an excellent job. So if she did that one, I know this one is going to be really, really good. It's phenomenal, and I'll tell you something. We're getting an Oscar buzz. I mean, everyone who watches this film is just 
glued to the screen. I just feel everyone needs to see it. It's such an amazing history lesson, a living history lesson. Now, you were able to join with some good friends that really helped you, uh, Will and Jada Smith from Overbrook Entertainment and Rock Nation's Jay-Z. How did you all come together to come behind this vision? Well, I'll tell you, I've known Jada for 20 years, and I have always known that Jada was a serious Angela Davis fan. And as soon as I watched this documentary, I said, you know what? The only person I can imagine working with us on this project and getting it done is Jada. I called Jada. I said, I have one favor, and I never asked her for favor in 20 years. I said, just look at this. If you love it, then let's make it happen. If you don't, I get it. She watched that movie. One week later, she said, what do we need to do? And from then on, her, Will, Jay-Z have really helped take this to the next level. I mean, Overbrook Entertainment and Rock Nation, it has been a blessing. A blessing. And the movie has been distributed by Cold Black Entertainment and Lions Gate. Yes. What, what a wonderful partnership you all developed together. And yes, and I'll tell you something with that a funny story. You know, Jeff Clanagan, I've known for years as well. And uh, I had gone to LA for a month. And working out of Overbrook's office, trying to find distribution. We were hustling to find distribution for this movie. I called Jeff. I said, look, I'm coming to your house right now, and we're watching this movie. It was a Sunday. I said, I need you to sit down. I need you to look at it. I went to his house, watched this film with him and his wife. Afterwards, Jeff looked at me and said, we're distributing this movie. (laughs) And that's exactly what he did. And now we're in about 10 different cities. And it's opening on Friday, and we are very excited. You know, hashtag free Angela. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, look, we got that. That is great. See, God is blessing. He positioned you to have friends that can actually uh, make things happen. And then, you know, you go to Jeff's house. Now, who can just say I can just go to Jeff's house and pop in a video, you know, to get him to support it? It is. It really is a blessing. And I'll tell you something, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it really means a lot to have, you know, great relationships. You know, it's, it's great to be amongst people who do what they say they're going to do. I mean, everything that Jeff Clanagan at Cold Black said he was going to do, he did. Everything that Jada Pinkett, you know, Will, Miguel Melendez, Paris Salinas, that's the whole team over at Overbrook. Everything that they said they were going to do, they did. They have stood behind this movie so big time. Like, it just gives me chills, you know. I mean, it's been an amazing, magical experience amazing. I can't imagine where this movie is going to go from here. Well, I definitely look forward to seeing it. And I want to let everyone know that they can actually go to freeangelafilm.com for more information. Also on Facebook, Free Angela Film as well. And the film is entitled Free Angela and All Political Prisoners (laughs) opening exclusively in select AMC theaters on April the 5th. I want to thank you so much, Sidra, for coming on the show. And I look forward to having you back. And thank you so much. And hashtag free Angela, everybody. Okay. We got hashtag, (laughs) y'all. Thank Thank you. You You are so welcome, Sidra. Okay. Bye. Bye.